Welcome back to this playthrough for Divinity 2. And now we are going to make Talana one happy dead dragon lady. And go talk to Lord Lovis. Who is also dead. <laughs> but I did do a little bit of inventory cleanup. And uh, when I was editing my last video, I noticed that I left the loot behind that the uh, killer Vorpal Bunny dropped. So let me show it to you real quick. Well, there's two things he dropped. First, he dropped these legendary gauntlets, which I'm not really sure are much better than what I've already got, but they require level 21. And more importantly, he dropped this. The Elder Bloody Engraved Bronze Bangle of Alaroth. And that thing looks like it could be pretty dang nasty. And also gives me a plus to the bleed skill, which was a skill I was considering uh, taking. Alright, anyway. Here we are. I'm gonna make Talana happy. I left some... I can't say I left them alive. the other waypoint shrine. Okay. Well, so I didn't maximize my possible uh, XP to the best of my abilities, but that's okay. I can't move this. I think I see what it wants me to do. on hold. <laughs> Different meaning than the fact that the same voice actor from Mario did uh, the dragon from Elder Scrolls. Skyrim. Just because. Not like I've met anything that's a, truly a threat here so far, but Oh, you got 
I do it in order, okay. Got it. Alright. I say as I make the same mistake twice. <laughs> There's still stuff leading up. pretty awesome so I'm okay with listening to some more of this music. Looks like it's just another way to get into Lord Lois's chambers. Lois' dungeon. Okay. Well, actually, maybe not.
shiny. Like, how dare you loot Lotus's dungeon? You're not stranger. Do not be alarmed. I wish you no harm, but I do not wish to die. So let us just talk and perhaps even trade. Okay, all right. Lord Lovis's old smith, Carl. Quite famous in the day, but given a few centuries and fame. Just your typical cursed undead. A dreary existence, I assure you. Oh no, don't go there. I've heard of living skeletons like me that fell apart because of an excess of existential thought. <laughs> Telling what might have happened. Okay, can I mind read a skeleton? I don't think I can. No, okay, well. You won't be disappointed. Again, I'm gonna take a picture of before and after. Yeah, not much difference in HP. More mana. Much higher magical damage. Ooh. Everything but magic resistance dropped as far as that's concerned. Condition body goes up. And indomitable will goes up. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess it's a, a toss-up. Do you want m more offense? You know what? We'll, we'll give it a shot. Why not? It does look nice. Another one to add to the collection. And just to see what happens now. Have you come back to trade, stranger? Oh. Wish you well. Okay. Fine. Be nice to old Carlin. come back to this area.
bug. Okay, well, we will, uh, is that cool this one? What's this? Look at that. into it later. I did pull off four switches. I can't move this. Uh-oh. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> ah, there's a switch here. I need to use this. Maybe. Let's try it. We'll stick it down. Six spots. Sure. Apparently that doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Bit confused. that quest now. Well, we'll do it that after we uh, talk to Lord Lovis. Oh. I don't get my music back. So sad. That's one way to get the music back, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well done. We are here. Lord Levis is close by.
blocked now, okay? I should say. Except the last one. Am I just missing something obvious here. spell. Okay. The door won't open. Gotta be use this thing. The scroll bears a spell in an alphabet you can read but its meaning remains nonsensical to you. Hmm. I wonder what that did. guy who read the scroll that he couldn't read before.
another one to add to the collection. Alright, well, I think we read the uh, book. You have come here, living flesh, to seek audience with Lord Lewis? Then prove you have the knowledge required to meet him. To whom was Lord Lovis born? Oh, this is a uh, Anastas, I believe. Yep. Very good. Who does Lord Lovis serve? Take Maxos, maybe. Nope, nope. Ouroboros. Very good. What was Lord Lovis's greatest victory? I'd say the Battle of 10,000. Yep, yep. Very good. Who was the fiend that set in motion Lord Lovis's downfall? Ball, I'd say. Yep. Very good. What was Broken Valley called when Lord Lovis still ruled supreme? Valley of Shrines. Very good. And that completes this test of knowledge. Your wisdom is exemplary. You may address my master and wear the pendant with which his house is symbolized. And that's uh, one of those achievements you only get one shot at, apparently. That. Hmm. I guess that would be the better the choices. It's not that great. What have we here? A mortal wandered into my town. By accident, I'm sure. A fellow Dragon Knight sent a champion. An interesting turn of events, though not unexpected. Yes, I do, Dragon friend. Even if my sight was taken from me, I would still smell the stink of Black Ring presence. Yeah, most of them have been killed, sir. Which makes us allies, you mean to imply? Was she now? And how is it I may help? Necessarily is the word you were looking for, I think. As luck would have it, I know what Talana wants to do. And though I applaud her intent, I am apprehensive of her immediate goal. The Hall of Echoes. But it is we who were betrayed. Amian corrupted the mind of a fellow knight and made him stab your godlike champion in the back. He did what he set out to do. The divine is dead. His demonic army suffered great losses, yes, but away from human eyes, he is rebuilding his forces. How well he planned his devious game. Yagelma was revenged. While he knew it would take decades to regain his strength, the damned one made sure mankind had another enemy to fight. It was exactly what the slayers did. They eradicated the old race, paying no heed to the slumbering threat of the Disdavian. 
therein dwells the soul of his one great desire, Egerna. He and she are soul forged, one in spirit and being. When death dawns on either of them, it takes them both. But her head got chopped off. But Damien cast the spell when his beloved had, but moments before, suffered bloody execution. This reversed the nature of the spell. Now, should Igerna be brought back to life, it is Damien who will die. That was Talana's quest. Now it is yours. When Damien grew up under the tutelage of the Divine, he was unaware of the fact that he was the incarnation of the great evil destroyed by his foster father. But the Black Ring knew and sent a young witch to awaken his dormant powers. This she did, and they even fell in love. All went well for the pair until Igerna was found out and beheaded by the Divine. Damien, who had in the meantime, in the strictest of secrecy, become a great wizard, soul forged himself with his beloved as she felt the blade. It was then that the first demon war was waged and won by the Divine and his army of paladins. The second Damien scourge, the Great War, fared less advantageously, as you are well aware. It ended in no more than a bitter stalemate. The winner has yet to be decided. I cannot say, though I know my former master, Maxos the Dragon Mage, once found it. As always, he wrote down all the research he did. This book must still be in his temple. has been there for a very long time. I possess it. It is now yours. Finding the Hall of Echoes will be a long and tough journey, but should you succeed, our old enemy will be destroyed. Go to the temple. Find the book. And while you are there, maybe you can take care of some small matter for me. My salvation. I do not dwell here, a mockery of both life and death, by my own will or wish. No, my friend. I failed Maxos, and this is my punishment. I was tasked to guard these lands against demonic incursions. But as time passed, my might rose. I grew callous and decadent. Vigilance traded places with indulgence, beauty with scorn. When the demon lord Baal came, and with him his armies, the valley was overrun. This is why I was punished. are harsh, but they ring true. Nevertheless, I have sought redemption, but received none. Too long, champion, have I been rotting without decay. Maxos ripped my soul from my body and imprisoned it in a soul stone in his temple, close by, yet an infinity away. And bring me back my soul. It is in the possession of my old rival, Amducius. Destroy him and return. I assure you, your reward will be substantial. He was a wizard of such vast knowledge, he became respected by dragons. They taught him things no human had ever heard of. When he built his battle tower, a giant spire filled with magic, they gave him the ultimate ability. Like themselves, 
He could turn ordinary beings into dragon knights, which made him the most powerful creature in Riverwalk, save for those of the ancient race. He could have conquered and enslaved this world if he wished, or turned it into a paradise. But that kind of power and dominance, be it for good or evil, did not interest him in the slightest. Only knowledge counted for him while his dragon knights ruled Riverlong. Knights such as Orobas, Talana, and myself. Until one day he disappeared under circumstances unknown and was never heard of again. This was almost a millennium ago. Ever since then, his battle towers could empty. Until Lycan broke its magic seal and used the Citadel as a laboratory to conduct his dark experiments. Dragons are the old ones. Dragon Knights, their most powerful servants. They are humans chosen by dragons when quite young and imbued with dragon magic. They are more powerful and intelligent than normal humans, even live much longer. Their most amazing gift is the mastery of the dragon form. In the guise of our dragon masters, we, their knights, are kings among men. Rulers with powers unmatched. When the true dragons show themselves less and less over the centuries, the common folk made no distinction between the two anymore. Now some don't even realize there is a difference. An enormous difference. A long time ago, he and I were chosen by Maxos to become dragon knights. But one day, when we were young men, not a day over seventeen, and as brazen as all youths are, we tried to utter spells too potent for our still novice-like capabilities. A hurricane of flame ripped through a small city, killing hundreds. In awe, we stared at the beauty until our tutor arrived upon the scene. Enraged, he vowed he would teach us the constraint and responsibility that come with the ways of the wizard. To make sure we'd listen, he said only one of us would become a dragon knight. Ever since that moment, Amdusius and I became bitter rivals in the race for dragonhood. A race I ultimately won. Amdusius remained an acolyte in the Maxos Temple, where he now, with boundless glee, holds my soul in his possession. What do they say? That you were a slayer once. And only when the blood of the dragon flows through your veins like a thousand fires of might and lore, are you truly born? What came before matters not. It was of no consequence or validity whatsoever. Yes, I have. And have grown more knowledgeable and more bitter in all those many years. Most have forgotten me, but I have not forgotten Rivalon. With great fury, I watched Damien destroy her as I stood helplessly by. It is good to know that at last another strives to spell his doom and at the same time redeem the name of dragons. Only the raw dragon power that is locked in Maxos Dragonstone may unleash your slumbering dragon potential. And it is in the Battle Tower, and in the Battle Tower is Lycan. He is the Necromancer, probably the vilest living creature in Rivalon, sicker even than the Damned One, and second only in power to Davian. 
death, pain, mutilation, and horrible resurrection are his life and very much his lust. To become a dragon, you will have to destroy him. A deed many have dreamed of, but none have ever dared to execute. Mind reading before I leave? Ah, oh, I should put all my other thing. Oh well. My thoughts are my own, if you don't mind. But it's nice to see the art of mind reading is still popular among the educated few. You'll find the chest next to my throne unlocked. Consider it a little reward for the amusement you bring. As you wish, Dragon Pike. Okay, so I got some more quests in here now. Open this one. Alright. Oh, not over encumbered. That's fine. Another one to add to. I do remember picking up some potatoes. I'll put that on something too. The collection. There we go. Rotten goblin torso. And the only thing this area before progressing the storyline. I thought there was a person by the name of Toshan over here. At least according to my little guide over here of who I should be able to mind read. that later I guess. So that was basically the entirety of meeting Lord Lovis. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze. Anyway, um, so we met Lord Lovis. Pull up our quest log. I can go uh, talk to Roma back in the village and get that uh, quest finished. So this is a side quest. So basically there's two side quests involving his uh, soul. You can only complete one of them, of course. Alright. But then, yeah, Paper Trail is the continuance of the actual... Um, still don't know what this Talisman of the West is for. I'm going to figure that out. Anyway. Uh, but, yeah, the temple is the main quest. Let's see here. Now i got quite a few um, achievements unlocked. So this, obviously, is one you can't miss because it's story related, but Lovis Lore Master is one where you only get one chance to unlock, and it happened to be right there when we were at the throne. And uh, fortunately I had the answers pulled up on my other computer here, because I would have got all of them right except for the second one. So I was close to messing up there. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.